Hello to Gizmac here and today I'm going to talk about the SMGs and how Rockstar could balance the SMGs in GTA Online. And this is an episode in my series called How to Balance GTA 5 where we will be going through all the weapons in GTA 5 and talking about how they should be balanced with the intention of you know the game actually getting updated so that we can actually see all these changes be added into the game. Now if you want to go check out my last video in this series which was on the pistols, there will be a link in the description. Now this video will actually be sort of split into two different parts, uh, sort of like the pistol video where uh, there's going to be the machine pistols first and then we're going to go into the SMGs. And uh, we're also going to be adding the AUP pistol in here um, just because that's pretty much a machine pistol so uh, that's what we're going to be doing in this video. So the SMGs sort of have this weird area for weapons in GTA Online. They're sort of like an in-between of your pistols and your assault rifles, right? So what I sort of want them to be, is, especially with the machine pistols, is very close range and, you know, fully automatic, but sort of higher fire rates generally, um, relatively higher accuracy. So first off is the AP pistol, which... Um, has a DPS of 250, but it will have a damage of 28 with a range of 20 to 50, which is the longest range, you know, uh, for all the machine pistols. Um, so that's what I re, you know, it's generally on you know, your longer range, um, sort of closer to the SMG category, um, but at the same time, you know, it's still a machine pistol. And um, it also has a spread of 2.50. So that's actually kind of accurate for, you know, the machine pistols, and you'll see that, you know, later. And the rate of fire is 0 0.130, which is about the same as you'd see on, like, the carbine rifle. So if you, uh, it's a little bit faster than a carbine rifle, but if you, you know, know how the fast the carbine rifle is. And the new DPS is actually 224. Next is the micro SMG, which I want it to be a very close range, a high fire rate, low damage type of weapon, right? So it's you know, your weapon, you know, closest range, and it's your highest fire rate. So the current damage per second is 210. So what we're going to be doing is changing the damage to 26. Most SMGs, you know, like I said, you know, the range is going to be bad, and the range is actually going to be 15 to 35 meters. Pretty terrible range. I was thinking about making the range a little bit, um, you know, further, so maybe something like 45 or 55, but... Even then, you know, I still thought that machine pistols should only really be good at close range, right? So, I didn't want them to be as good as, you know, snipers or something. Or, if they did ever want, you know, that, you know, meters to be a little bit further. Because 35 meters, that isn't that far. But still, I feel like this weapon already has, you know, very fast fire, which, which we will be mentioning soon. Um, it has such a high damage per second that I felt a, you know, close range would be quite nice. But... Now that I am making this video, I am kind of thinking, eh, maybe that 35 meters is a little bit, you know, that, that's sort of shotgun range. And we're also going to have a spread of 4.50, which is about the same as you'd see on, like, an MG, um, which is actually quite high. Um, but although the spread doesn't really change too much, because, of course, if you're using this weapon at, like, 15 meters, that's not that big of a deal. But just keep in mind that it is, you know, quite a high spread. And the rate of fire is where this weapon has its true strength, which is 0 0.90, which is... A little bit faster than, um, you know, a, the weapon it already had, which was a 0 0.10. And thing about this is, this is going to be the fastest weapon in the game. You know, if you, um, this would be, you know, your super fast fire rate weapon. Aside from, say, like a minigun or something, that's, of course, going to be the fastest. But, you know, it's still a very fast weapon. So that's about how fast this weapon is. So, you know, it's a very fast weapon. The problem is with this weapon is the magazine capacity. Sure, it fires so fast, and you know if you're in a one-on-one -on -one engagement, this weapon is what you want, you know, because you can just m pretty much melt people. Although, since you only you have a very small magazine count, especially if you don't have ma you know uh, a extended mag, this weapon is you know a one-on-one -on -one engagement. If you miss a few shots, you're gonna have to be reloading a lot, and um, you know sure it is very powerful and it has a high DPS. It's still a, you know, one-on-one -on -one engagement. If you see two people, you're going to have to reload. You know, it's going to be very difficult to actually kill, you know, multiple people with one magazine if you don't have the extended mag. So, yeah, that's what we're going to be doing with that weapon. And the new DPS is 312. So, moving on to the machine pistol, which has a current DPS of 243. What we're going to be doing is making this weapon sort of a high damage, um, low fire rate type of weapon. And so... 
Uh, it's going to have a damage of 42 with a rate of fire of 0 0.150, which is about what you'd see on, say, the Assault Rifle. You will see, you know, um, I will make comparisons to other weapons, especially with, you know, these weapons. Like, you know, so like I said, with, with the AP pistol, you know, it has a very similar fire to the carbine rifle. Uh, same with this, the machine pistol has a si kind of similar fire rate to the assault rifle. So, and it also has a range of 20 to 40 meters, and the spread is 3.50. Um, also, one other thing is that I feel like the extended mag should be increased to about 24 rather than 20. I'm kind of fine with the 12 magazine count for the you know regular although i feel like you know only 20 rounds in the extended mag would it would be kind of better if it was a little bit higher um to about 24 um and also this would bring the weapon to a new dps of 294 so moving on to the actual smgs um and we're going to be seeing the smg which has a current dps of 198 and this weapon will have a damage of 38 and while that is quite high don't get me wrong this weapon um has a pretty terrible range like you know the other smgs so i want these weapons to be close range powerhouses but just don't have a good range and while 60 meters may sound like quite a bit it really in all honesty isn't because gta has a generally you know especially in like free mode and stuff it has a higher range than a lot of other games you know so just keep that in mind it's amazing up close but not so good at a range and this would bring the weapon to a new DPS of 342. This weapon um, would be sort of your average SMG compared to like the uh, other two SMGs that we'll be talking about. Um, but just a, you know, sort of standard SMG. You know, it's, it's very standard. Next is the Assault SMG, which has a current damage per second of 184. So what we're going to be doing to the Assault SMG is sort of making it a longer range weapon with a damage of 34, which is lower than the SMG, of course. But it has a better range, so this is sort of like your, you know, uh, kind of hybrid weapon. You know, you're sort of hybrid to the assault rifles and the SMGs. Sort of a mix between the two. But it ha will have a range of 30 to 65. And I'm also going to change the fire rate to 0 0.130. Which is, you know, uh, very similar to the AP pistol. Or actually, exact same as the AP pistol and similar to the carbine rifle. So, that's what we're going to be seeing with that weapon. And... There's a new DPS of 272. So this is actually kind of nice because, um, you know, what this weapon is, is a longer range kind of weapon. And I sort of chose that, you know, I sort of thought that that was a good idea because the weapon currently, and I know this is a bug, but still, um, it doesn't actually have, a, it doesn't have a damage drop off. So I sort of felt like it kind of made sense. Um, I'm, I know that is a glitch, of course, but... I just felt like it would be kind of a neat change, you know, or a, a neat niche for this weapon is that longer range SMG. Next and finally is the Combat PDW, which has a current DPS of 224. And what we're going to be doing is sort of making it a higher damage SMG with a damage of 40 with a range of 25 to 55. Um, so, like, I, I sort of wanted this to have a little bit higher damage, but since it has an integrated suppressor, I didn't know if that would be the best idea, because it does have, you know, already an integrated suppressor, which is a very nice change to the weapon, and a very neat, um, addition to the weapon, and we're also going to be changing the fire rate to 0 0.145, and this would bring the weapon to have a new DPS of 352, so, like I said, you know, the combat PDW is sort of your high damage, um, a little bit, you know, in between the Assault SMG and the regular SMG sort of range, you know, it's it sort of, you know, you're stealthy, you know, you're sort of higher damage, you know, you want to make your shots count with this weapon because of that slower rate of fire. It doesn't have the greatest damage per second, um, but it's still a very, very nice weapon um, if you want to, you know, hit those shots. Um, the accuracy is also pretty good on this weapon. It, it would be the same as it stays right now which if I'm correct is actually a 3.0, um, so yeah, keep that in mind with this weapon. So yeah, let me know your thoughts on this in the comments, uh, did you like the changes I came up with, or would you change any of these weapons yourself, and uh, let me know what you would change it with these SMGs in the comments. Also, if you want to go check out a playlist for all the episodes in this series, there will be links in the description, but hope you enjoy, feedback's always appreciated, I'll see you guys in the next video.